Hello, in this video lesson, I want to take a few moments to show you around in Package Explorer and show you where the files you most likely will be working with as you begin developing Android applications are located. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and expand the folder for the application we created in the previous lesson. Now the first folder I want to talk about is the source folder. If I expand the source folder, I'll see the package name of my application. I'm going to go ahead and expand that. And there you'll find the main activity.java file. If I double click that, that'll load here in the main window. And this is again the source code for our application. All of the Java programming that we will be doing to develop our applications will be done in here. If I want to create additional activities, I can create them here within this particular location. I'm going to go ahead and collapse that. The second folder that I want to talk about is the gen folder, generated Java files folder. Now the things created in here are automatically created for us when we compile our application. And you can see here I have the r.java file. Oftentimes if we do troubleshoot our application, we may have to delete this file and let the system recreate it. But as a beginner, typically you will not do that. I'm going to go ahead and collapse the gen folder. The Android 4.4 folder in this case is all of the class libraries for the Android system that we can use in our application. If I expand that, I can see all of the different packages in here and all of the classes that belong to them. I'm going to go ahead and collapse that as well right now. The next folder I want to talk about is the resources folder. And if I expand the resources folder, I'll see quite a few different options for us to work with for resources. Now the first couple that are mentioned here, the HDPI, LDPI, MDPI, XHDPI, and XXHDPI, these folders are all for images that we want to add later on to our application. The layout here contains the activity main XML file, and if I double click that, that was the second of the two files that were loaded automatically when we created our application. And again, this is the layout file that we will use to design the user interface of our application. One more folder that I want to point out here is the values folder. And if I expand the values folder, I'll find a couple other XML files for us to work with. One in particular is the strings XML. And if I double click that, this is where we can create all of our predefined strings that we can use for the layout itself. And there are a couple of them that are in here right now. One of them is called hello world. And this actually displays the text that is on the layout itself. And so we can add different strings in here. These will be covered in another lesson. I'll go ahead and close that. And the last file that I want to mention is the Android manifest.xml. If I double click that, this is the file that basically takes the whole application and holds it all together. It's the glue that holds the whole application together. And if I look at the XML option for this, I can see the code that puts together the application. It's all laid out in XML type tags. So this is a look at the Package Explorer. We can go back and find the files if we close them and reload them anytime. 